is day 22. How are you? I hope you are having a wonderful start to your weekend. And actually, let's take off the beanie because it's warm in the house. We don't need a beanie. Probably have hat hair, beanie hair. It's kind of flat. When I was editing the last Chickmas vlog, the ends just look horrendous. They looked terrible. Like they were just so uneven. So the next day, I think it was probably like at 11 p.m. I just took a pair of scissors and cut off, you know, kind of just snipped off the ends just to make it even, figured, you know what, those were like a million split ends anyway, so it needed to be trimmed and it will grow back, you know, positive that the hair is gonna grow back. The last Chickmas vlog was saying that there are things I still wanna share in chronological order. It's something that I started a week and a half before December. If you've been here for a while, then you know last year Darren wanted to add a train set which was from CVS. It was uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas, but aesthetically it wouldn't match all the decor. And I told him, oh, you know what, Darren, um, it's okay, next year we'll get a train that will match all the decor. So this year I wanted to fulfill that for him. So I went ahead and DIY'd a train set. I didn't really film the whole thing, but this is basically what the train set looked like. It was from Walmart. It was like 20, under $23. Plastic, battery operated. I've seen a couple of these train sets online and they were pricey. Like pricey for a pink pastel one in the range of like 200 to like 250, which is outrageous and ridiculous. I'm not gonna spend that much. So this was the one item I really wanted to add this year and we DIY'd it. So this is the train set. We'll start with the, I think it's called caboose. Is it caboose? The one all the way in the back. So essentially with this, primed it all white, hand painted it pink. I'll put uh, the paint I used down below. However, just be mindful because I did screw up on these. Some of it bubbled. So if you look carefully, it's not like, it's not perfect. Um, there are imperfections with it. But I guess that's what makes it uh, unique, right? And then I added these nail decals that I found at TJ Maxx. And of course, they're Hello Kitty. And just spray painted the wheels gold. Then we have this one with uh, Tuxedo Sam. And the reason why Tuxedo Sam is in here is because when Darren was younger, he had a Tuxedo Sam piggy bank, which he ended up I think breaking one year. I forgot how old he was. So when I saw this at five below, I was like, okay, you know what? We're gonna add it. And it did come with another one, which is in the room, but we put him in this little, we put him in here. And again, we have the Hello Kitty nail decals. And this, by the way, the Hello Kitty small little fork thingy. This is from Daiso. It's supposed to be for, you know, lunch boxes or if you're gonna make sushi. This other part, ooh, dang. All the snow is getting caught in the wheels. That's the only bad thing. So I did hand paint this gold. It was gold spray paint, then just use a brush to hand paint it. Then we have Hello Kitty, of course. And then the main star is the actual working part. Did print out the Chickmas logo at CVS. It's on both sides. And then we also have some Hello Kitty stickers. Messed up on this one. I'm not sure which side I was showing you. It's messed up, but you know what? I'm very proud of it because it was something that I DIY'd from the heart. It means a lot to me this year and I was so proud of it. It really made me happy, you know, to fulfill this for him. Here's the front of it. Of course we got Hello Kitty, right? Um, it also lights up with a sound. Uh, personally, I do not like it with the sounds, but if you don't have the sound, then it doesn't light up. In addition to that, thought it was only right. We also add another figure, which represents Darren. Although Tuxedo Sam does represent him, he had a tattoo on his arm of this character, Levi from Attack on Titan. Pocket Pop Keychain. It was kind of difficult to find this. I had to like search for it. A lot of places were sold out, but if I can still find it, I will link it down below, but shipping did take 
a while. And most likely, I'm just gonna leave it on the keychain. Plan to keep Levi in the room once uh, Christmas is over. Move over, tuxedo Sam. Put Levi, oh, is Levi gonna stay? There we go. Let's let it run without the sound. And yeah, the snow fluff kind of gets in the way. And then with the sound. I forgot to turn on the gingerbread houses. So this is the train set this year. I wanted to answer a few questions from the anonymous questions as well as posted it on stories. This one says, hey Tin, what is your fave dish around Christmas time? Pick one sweet and one savory. Love you. Oh, thank you. Love you too. Thank you for the question. We've never really had specific food for Christmas. For the savory, it would be my mom's seafood pasta because that's like her specialty dish and it's really, really good. And one sweet. That's a tough one because you know, we love sweets. Um, dang. Oh, you know what? It would be food for the gods. My mom's friend makes this amazing food for the gods. She doesn't give her recipe out. It is freaking bomb. It is so good. I mean, she does bake it year round, more so during the holidays. So I would say it's uh, food for the gods. Thank you so much for the question. This question is from the very first Checklist vlog. Apologies that I'm answering it so late. So where did you get your pink pearl shirt? It's absolutely adorable. Thank you. It's a cropped uh, pink pearl shirt. I'm gonna try to find the link for it uh, and put it in the description box, but I did get it a couple years ago, maybe like two or three years ago. It's one of my favorites because it's a crop top. Love the pink and also the pearls. Thank you for the question. This next question is from Smexy11. Will you do an advent calendar for your son, like in honor of his memory? Thank you for the question. Um, honestly, I don't think so. Not right now, of course. I mean, it's already almost the end of Chickmas. I uh, maybe next year or the year after. I'm not really too sure. If I'm going to be like completely honest, I still haven't opened the advent calendar. Only day one. I don't really feel like it's really still in me to open it mentally. I'm just not there yet. Thank you for the question. I know this Chickmas vlog is probably very short, but uh, at least we're vlogging, right? That's definitely something. Wanted to open one PR package. This is from Pixie Beauty. Very appreciative to the brands who are still sending PR, even though in beauty, I haven't even uploaded a beauty related video in like seven months. It is my goal just to get back on it. I miss beauty. I really, really do miss it. So I'm hoping in 2024 that we'll be able to film more beauty related videos because I love beauty videos. Oh, that's my dad, by the way. They sent over, it says Pixie 1999. Look at this. Intense liquid liner. We can always use a black liner. So it's this one right here. Then we have the liquid fairy lights, which I am a fan of the liquid fairy lights. Glowy powder, radiance powder. It's the Vita C glowy powder. And then we have Time Fix, hydrating liquid lipstick stain. In the perfect shade to complement any look. So it's kind of like, you know, they give you everything to make like, you know, a complete look with this, which is perfect, I think, probably for like New Year's Eve, right? So thank you so much to Pixie Beauty for sending this over. I'm gonna go ahead and end Chickmas Day 22 here. There are still a few more days left of Chickmas and there still are more things I'm gonna be sharing with you if you're still here. At the very end of the vlog, please leave me this emoji. Would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. Wishing you all the best for a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will see you in the next vlog.